Well, we have this big breaking news coming in that K. Kavita has been summoned by the ED for questioning regarding the Likagate scam. And now we have joining us uh, on the broadcast Krishna Shagar, uh, Sagar Rao from BJP. Well, uh, good morning, sir. Do we have we lost connection? Hello, sir. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, yes, sir. Sir, this is a big news that comes in right after Arun Pillai's arrest. And uh, what would your comments be on the ramifications as uh, of this ED summon for K. Kavita ji? See, I think uh, the case is coming to a natural conclusion. And uh, the natural course of uh, the law enforcement agency is trying to understand the case better so they can frame charges uh, is underway. And I think uh, almost all of the uh, players in this particular uh, alleged uh, corruption scandal have been arrested and now uh, the summons have been given to Kavita to come in uh, and interact with ED. So we have to see what happens after the uh, after her interaction with ED tomorrow. They, they'll be questioning her and uh, we have to see what the outcome will be. But having said that, Bharatiya Janata Party asked KCR, uh, you know, questions his silence because uh, now he has to speak. He has to uh, let the people know of in Telangana that why is uh, his daughter being framed in such a big scandal and uh, why is that uh, both uh, her Mr. brother Mr. and Rao, uh, her Ashish father Marishi. are not Mr. making Rao, any this statements is Ashish so far. Marishi. Mr. Rao, this is Ashish Marishi from CNN News 18. Just one question to you. Is that the kind of evidence that the CB and the ED has been able to collect against K. Kavita? Do you think that with this kind of evidence and the kind of... Uh, uh, you know, the narrative that the, the BRS Neta is basically trying to portray, she's basically trying to portray that, you know, it's a witch hunt. But, and, you know, these cases have to stand on their, you know, in, in the court of law where, on their own legs. So how do you see the narrative against the evidence? I think there is uh, heaps of evidence which has been built by the enforcement agencies. Otherwise, they would not round up somebody as big as a, a deputy chief minister of a state. Uh, now, a lot of people who have been arrested are turning approvers, as I can see, uh, you know, about the statements of uh, Mr. Pillai to uh, the ED and the 17-page uh, remand report of uh, Pillai stating clearly the names, uh, inclusive of Mrs. Kavita. So there is plenty of evidence. That is why the enforcement agencies are moving forward, uh, and they have arrested so many of them, and they have uh, summoned Kavita, number one. Number two... I mean, where does this allegation of political vendetta stand? Wait, what is the basis? I mean, who created this uh, uh, policy? Did BJP create the liquor policy? Did BJP uh, cancel the liquor policy? Did government of India, uh, you know, formulate this liquor policy? Why did the Delhi government formulate a policy without having any structured committee or any reports on uh, on a new policy? And why did it go back on it? Why did it cancel it? Now when there is such a clear understanding of the case and then the ramifications of the case are now, uh, you know, being visible, how can you call government of India is, uh, you know, on a pursuit of uh, opposition party leaders uh, in terms of uh, harassing them or a political vendetta? This is all imaginary. These are being manufactured, these allegations. And they're very plain, normal uh, reactions, which would... Uh, any day Mr. when you Mr. when you Mr. Rao, Mr. Reddy is also with us. When Mr. Rao, Mr. Reddy from the BRS is also with us. Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, the same question to you as well is that there is a narrative being built that the current government at the center is trying to target political parties which are basically in, in opposition through CBI and ED. But if you see the kind of evidence and the kind of documents that these agencies are basically you know, giving to the court, it very clearly shows that there is some sort of evidence which indict these people, especially senior netas uh, in the opposition parties. Though, obviously, you know, you can say that the, you know, the current BJP government is only targeting, uh, the, you know, people in the opposition. But do you think, do you think that, you know, the real, uh, you know, by building that kind of narrative, uh, it will help the netas in the court as well or not? It is not the question of building the narrative. It is very, very clear from the beginning in this uh, central ex uh, Delhi excise policy, we are very, very clear, you know, making it very, very clear. These cases are politically motivated. Nobody in the country except CBI and BJP understood the, what is this case all about. All the losses which were claimed, which was mentioned by CBI, 
or ED or imaginary and the bribe which were they taken talking about nowhere they could found uh, find any evidence and these cases not at all evidence to show they are making allegations the court, and then the president mr reddy mr reddy, reddy, you know, mr. reddy there yeah. is mr reddy there is you know if you go through the remand notes eh, there have been 11 arrests till now none of them have got their regular bail till now uh, even in in the case of manish sisodia oh, as well the court has bail. the auditor the auditor got the bail who said nobody has got the bail no no the auditor you got know, the bail number one not number two these, number two my 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 thing my argument is now look at the cases and the leaders in the case are all opposition party leaders why the cases the you know uh, sir, mr evant vishwas sharma who was a key mr reddy in every case that, mr there is a case mr reddy does the, the court in europe mr reddy mr reddy does the court recognize only that that the opposition netas are being targeted the court basically looks at the evidence and based on evidence they basically take action i am not action. talking about court yes yeah. sir i am not talking about the court i am talking about the political witch hunting of union government and bjp Where my question is power, my question is winners on ground my question is winners on ground they could not my win on ground Mr. they could not Mr. win Mr. Reddy, telangana they could not Mr. win Reddy, my question is my question is cases. my question is narrative versus the evidence the kind of evidence that the cbi has been able when, to collect over right a period comes, of time in this when case when the right time when an appropriate at an appropriate time when they have to face the case in the court definitely when government produces some evidence definitely the defense will also give you know prove that this is going to be false this is false at already so we will you know at a appropriate time that all will come in the court but the issue here is the larger picture behind this particular case is a completely politically motivated that's what i'm trying to say no those court i i agree with you these cases could be politically motivated but then there is certain yeah. evidence which the court is accepting are based on Who that evidence it is a prima facie it is a prima facie it's a prima facie acceptance but it is not final any probability when they submit any evidence or said to be an evidence to the court they definitely allow them to you know investigate doesn't mean that the court has completely accepted and said yes to the evidence these are all falsely implicated these are all fabricated cases there is no evidence in anywhere all these evidence are you know Mr. Uh, Reddy, to, you know, I have been following up. Mr. Reddy, I have been following this case from day one, and you know yeah. the, what the what the evidence or what the details that the ED and the CBI has produced before the court reveals that there was basically a policy which was twisted and turned into favor of a south so-called south lobby. The south lobby paid around hundred crore rupees for the twist and turn in the policy, and there are various statements under Prevention of Money Laundering Act. which are admissible in the court of law is evident is there you know, anything called is there anything called registered company in the name of south group i don't know number one no no there is nothing there are many north indian companies there is working in south there, south indian companies no, there is nothing doing business there is nothing, nothing called wrong, right no no there is nothing called the south 